So guys, as I've told at the end of the video, in the last video, that we are going to have a form validation, a secure way. So this is the video about it. So in this video, we are going to know how to use a React hook form. This is the npm library which is free to use, and you can install this library with this command npm i react hook form. So this uh, package will be using with the help of our hooks. We have used it use effect hook right so similarly we'll be having a use form hook with the help of that customized hook we are going to have a form validation so that means user cannot log in with just a normal credentials it like he should be having uh, at least 14 characters in his name or at least uh, 10 characters in his password a strong password weak password so all kind of form validation we are going to cross out in this video so first of all what we are going to do is we are going to install this package in our project so this is copied to our clipboard now let's go into our project before installing any packages we need to stop this job so i'm stopping this job and need to have this npm i react hook form so once you click enter it will start downloading all the packages related to react hook form so this is one of the way to have a form validation in the easiest way you can write it from scratch also but using libraries will save you a lot of time so once the installation is completed i'm going to show you how to use this react hook form and do the form validation while registering so what it is is when entering a password or when entering any kind of fields the user will be having a certain kind of instruction that is a user should be having at least a set of characters of name and password also you should be having one uh, uppercase lowercase special character and uh, as well as a number so all this comes under form validation so if you provide this kind of features in your application then that means you're have building a strong application with the security that is user cannot just log in or register with the normal credentials like which which are weak credentials so the installation is done now what we are going to do is we need to run the uh this application also right so we'll run back the application so npm start is the command for that so in the background as it compiles and runs the application for us we'll be importing few packages related to our react hook form so one of it is use form so use form from react hook form as you've already got your suggestion here that means it has successfully installed so if you are familiar with hooks that is or use state and use effect this is similarly kind of hook which starts with use so it's still loading in the background now what we need to do is we need to have a okay it's loading so if you want to know anything about this package the best way is to read documentation on it so if you scroll down it says a quick start we should be importing this use form in our application and we need to have this line that is const register handle form state errors and use form so don't worry i'll show you and make you understand how and how we should be building this application with the help of react hook form so let's just go back to our application and what we do is we need to paste that which we have copied from the documentation so that means register handle submit form and use form so if you have a little bit knowledge on hooks that is use state and use effect what use state is you need to have a variable and if the variable value changes you are going to set another variable also so that means the two variables and in the kind of array and you will have this use state here so similarly we'll be having use form the values of register handle submit and form state of headers so this handle state is nothing but you need to handle your uh, submit right so whenever user enters all the fields all the data and if it clicks on submit you need to handle that submit right so that is what this handle submitted so i'll show you how to do that so here we are having on submit right so here 
we need to make changes yeah handle submit is fine but if this is a function it will get triggered by the react hook form if you click on submit inside this we need to have another function we can give a function anything that can register submit so why are we having another function is this handle submit is not our function now it is not asked to write like not having logic it is now the react hook form function now it will just say that whatever having value in the handle submit that you should follow registering that you should follow the, follow the logic so that's why we are having another function as a parameter for handle submit so now we can remove this handle submit and instead go with register submit register submit so now you can see the errors are gone and the form state is nothing but whenever you have some kind of errors like if user is typing only two or three letters of use element and clicking on submit these uh the form state gives that user a error saying that you have entered only three or four letters the minimum letters you should be having is six letters like any kind of it's your uh, instruction to put like how many characters you need to have in your form now as the use form uh, hook is done now what we are going to do is we need to handle our form like a form validation we are going to do each and every field so our first will go with the name and here what we'll do is at the end of uh, this input tag we need to have this curly braces and this three, three dots the so three dots is nothing but it's a spread operator and register so why did we have this register so register is nothing but this is the use form what you have in the documentation we are using the same thing the register so whatever the data which we enter in our input field that is going to handle by this register method so this is the register function that is a method function and now first field is the variable name which we want to give so what is this so if you give first field a variable name so whenever user enters and submits the field in that variable the data will be stored for example if i type uh, xyz in this input then the user variable will have the value of xyz so for that usage we are going to give this variable here you can give anything you want like a name and any kind of that but i'm going with a user so the first field of the register is nothing but a variable to store your values from the input field so the second second parameter here is it's like optional parameter but i'm going to give is the required so required should be true uh, i've said that the second parameter is optional parameter right so it's optional because if you don't give any kind of second parameter also it justly uh, runs your application but as we told at the start of this project that we are going to have the form validation like it should be have certain kind of securities like minimum length of the name minimum length of the password so we are going to give the second parameter also and we are having this min length property here so min length minimum username should have six characters that is six st the string should be of the six digits and after that we are going to uh, if the user has not uh, entered six a character string or the user has submitted without entering uh, any kind of data in the field it should hand the, handle the error also right so for that kind of purpose we are using another property from here called this errors so what we'll do here is errors dot and user it should say from which uh variable you want to give the error so if the user entered his name we need to give from user only right so errors dot user if the errors dot user is there like if there are any kind of errors in the user variable 
then we need to throw some kind of text so in the p where p tag i'll be throwing that error so class name i'll be having text danger with is nothing but a text in a red color so whenever the error is occurred you should show the user in a red color so that immediately captures the user's attention and after that i'll have a margin from top and what is the error i want to give i should throw a error name should be of at least six characters so this error the input we have written and the error also we have handled if the input doesn't go in our way so similarly we'll have a email address password and the confirm password field also will be having the similar kind of form validation here after required we need to have this object kind of thing with three dots that is a spread operator and register method so inside this register method first we need to give our variable name which should store this input so first will be of email i'm going with the email name so this email variable will store whatever the user enters in this input field and the second parameter is an optional parameter which i'm going to give required as true and let's just get this down as we are going to have another parameter also and yeah now we are going to have a, another parameter as required is true we are going to have the pattern for this so what this pattern is it is simple regex pattern if you find on internet if you just google it what is a regex a regex pattern for email address you will be getting that or else i'll just attach uh, for this video as a resource you can get from there as well so a pattern a regex pattern is nothing but uh, each character there should be a validation like a first six characters should be off of alphabet and after that they should be having one at least one at the rate and after that you should have a domain name and then a dot and after that you should you should have dot com or dot in any kind of that so just regex pattern is nothing but the your code will go through this pattern whether the user has entered the correct data or not so i'm going to give that pattern here so this is the pattern for email address don't worry i'll be providing you this pattern in a resource of this video now we need to handle errors also right for this uh, email if the user enters wrong email or if the user doesn't enter the email instead of he enters just a string so we'll have this object kind of thing and errors dot email so if there are errors in this email variable then we need to have this p tag which says please check and enter correct email uh, we should have a class for this as well so class name text danger so that the text should be in red color and from top i should have a margin of one so yeah it's done now we need to handle this password also here we need to have this object of javascript three dots of spread operator register and the function the first uh, parameter is the variable which you want to store this input field data and after that required should be true and then after i'm going to have this pattern similar to email we'll be having a pattern for password also 
like uh, for a strong password for weak password or a okay password so there are many patterns available on the google if you want to search you can search and get it your own pattern also uh, like it should at least have a one special character one uppercase one lowercase and at least it should be having this many digits and also with a numerical one so it is a combination of all the instructions and restrictions this pattern will be created so i'm gonna paste that pattern here and we need to handle the errors so the errors dot password if the any kind of errors are there in the password then i need to get this displayed on the website that it should have password should be of length password be of length 6 to 15 so why how it's no the password should be of 6 to 15 because if you see in this pattern i said the password should be of at least eight so if you enter above eight digits it, it is okay so that's why i gave six to fifteen and after that i need to have another instruction also uh, saying that it should have a uppercase a lowercase and a numerical also so what i'll do is as this accepts uh, only one uh, tag we need to have a div here so i'll provide a div here So this is the div and inside this div I'll have this paragraph tag so now it won't throw me any error so wherever you want you need to have at least only one parent component and here I'll have another p tag which says should contain at least one uppercase lowercase number and a special character So this is done for password similarly we'll be having the same in confirm password also so instead of typing again what we'll do is we'll have the same thing pa input field and the errors let's just copy and paste it here so we need to do a few of the changes for confirming password it should be of type password form and the placeholder should be of confirm password so confirm password yeah required and the variable should be of c password not just password and yeah everything should be fine now so let's check in our website so this is the login now we need to go into register yeah here let's just give a four uh, letters i'll give my name b and email address i'll just i won't give the email but i'll just type out something like qwerty and the password also i'll just give a numerical password i'm just giving here one two three if you are questioning about it and if i click on submit at first it will ask me it should have a at the rate at the end so at the rate so i'll have a gmail.com so if i click on submit then it says name should be of at least six letters so if i click uh, ha have a six letters in that then this error will be disappeared so what i'll do is i'll type my full name so you can see as the six letters uh 
restriction is gone the error also gone so similarly if i type a correct password here like a strong password with a length of 6 to 15 and one uppercase one lowercase one number and special character so let me give that strong password so you can see that error is gone now so it's just that easy to do a form validation with the help of npm so i'll have the same password here also and if i click submit now no errors and also it won't get submitted because we haven't written any kind of logic in our code so once our database is connected we once we create our models and database is connected and we write anything in backend then we are going with submit logic so as we have seen if we type anything and click on submit we are getting text in the black color so what i'll do is i'll have this in class name text danger similar thing for all the other p tags so i'll just copy paste for everything text danger text danger text danger so now whenever we enter so for example we re refresh and enter the values again so i'll give just a b and my email address password i'll just give some random password which is not a strong one and now when i click on submit it should throw me errors in red text i click on submit so you can see it throwing me error in red text so this of form validation is done so until user having strong credentials you won't be registering the user so in upcoming videos we'll see how to do how to connect the backend with the front end and also registering our user